Evolution and natural selection are not the same thing. Evolution is the change of species over time and natural selection is one of the ways that happens. This is an important distinction because other forces cause changes too and the phylogenic tree would not look the way it does without these other forces. The four forces are natural selection, mutation, gene flow, and genetic drift. All of these forces can change the allele frequency of a population and therefore, over time, cause evolution. In the last unit, we discussed the genotypic and phenotypic ratios of groups of organisms, but we didn't talk about the allele frequency of the population. The allele frequency is the ratio of dominant or recessive alleles in relation to all of the alleles for that trait in a population. When the allele frequencies change over time, the phenotypes of populations change and evolution happens. For example, let's talk about a population of imaginary dogs. Tall is dominant to short, so short dogs are homozygous for the height allele, and tall dogs could be heterozygous or homozygous dominant. In our imaginary population, we have 100 dogs. Some of them are short, but most of them are tall, and if you actually counted all the big T's and little T's in the population, you would find that there are 50 big T's and 50 little T's. The allele frequency of the dominant allele is 0.5 or 50%, and so is the recessive allele frequency. If none of the forces of evolution are affecting the population, then it is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, and you can add the allele frequencies together to get 100%. 0.5 plus 0.5 equals 1, or P plus Q equal 1 if you put it in algebraic terms. You can use this equation to figure out the probability of an individual being born with a particular genotype. But the forces are almost always at work. Natural selection might make shorter dogs more likely to survive and the frequency will change. Mutations can introduce new traits to the population and throw off the equations. New dogs might move into the neighborhood causing a flow of new genes into the gene pool. If most of the dogs moved away and only 10 dogs remained, random chance might cause genetic drift to happen. This is when the allele frequencies change dramatically over a generation or two just because the gene pool is too small. Pretty soon you could eliminate the short gene or the tall gene just through chance. Evolution is change, and the forces of evolution are the cause of the change. Natural selection is only one of the forces of that change. Stay awesome!